As you can see, I'm opening the brand new Creality CRX. We would like to commend the engineers at Creality that designed the packing. This is exquisite as always. Even after UPS handled this several times, everything looks to be in perfect order. All the connections are secured with hot glue. This is a partially assembled machine like the popular CR-10S. This video is longer than it should take you to put together. You will find tools, a USB card reader and SD card, and two spool holders for the dual extruders. Wiring has been simplified and utilizes a ribbon cable. The hot end is a two-in-one design. Let's have a look at the electronics. Inside we find a Meanwell 24 volt 506 watt power supply, solid state relay for the bed heater, and the Creality 2.1 motherboard. There's the Y stepper motor. After removing the large leveling knobs in the new build surface, take a look at the new Y carriage. It's slimmed down with nicely placed eccentrics. Another nicely engineered part are the belt covers for the front and rear. They also act to square up the Y extrusions. No need for binder clips anymore. And have a look at Creality's brand new build surface. With the sheet metal enclosure, it's easiest to lay the machine on the side for assembly. Two cap screws on each side secure the vertical frame. One ribbon cable and a few connections for the Z stepper motors and we're ready to rock. So far our only gripe is the side mounted power cable. The machine showed up in Chinese, but not to worry, it's very simple to change the language. This touchscreen is very cool, and definitely an upgraded user interface from previous versions. It even has volume control. Functions are easy to understand and easy to find. This machine came with two one kilogram rolls of PLA.
Loading filament is as easy as squeezing the lever and pushing it through the Bowden tubing. On the right hand side of the machine we have our micro USB port and our SD slot. I'm going to square the X frame up by eye and get ready for a print. The machine comes pre-configured with a manual leveling assistant. Do this a couple times to make sure the distance between the nozzle and the bed is the same in five points. Also remember to do this while preheated to operating temperature. Now that we have filament loaded, let's run the test print on the SD card. We will continue testing on this machine and do some more interesting models ASAP.